friends who are still on our tour of Eastern Taiwan, currently staying just outside of Teruku National Park at a B&B called Crossing the Rainbow. Our host here is a member of the Teruku tribe, which is the main indigenous population here in the gorge. If you're not familiar with Taiwan's Taroko Gorge, it's one of the geological wonders of the world, and it's also rich in history and culture. This video is about our time at the Taroko National Park with our entire family, including Scientist Dave, as well as our very knowledgeable guide, Vincent Dai. First stop, Qingsui Cliffs. These are some of the steepest cliffs of coastline anywhere in the world because the land is rising just about the fastest of anywhere in the world. One centimeter every year, a meter per human lifetime. The diamond shape you see on this tunnel face symbolizes the protective eye of the ancestral spirit Gaia in the Taroko culture. And you can see the symbol everywhere in the park. Next stop, Shakaran Trail. According to Ama, the hardest part of the trail is the four flights of stairs from the trailhead down to the trail. The name Shakadang means teeth in the Taroko language. It was said the Taroko explorers found human teeth when they were digging to make the trail. Other than the beautiful scenery, the trail also provides many opportunities for geologizing. Normally when we think about rocks, we think of them as very brittle. You take a hammer, you smash them, they break. But rocks, like any other solid substance, if you make it hot enough, and squeeze it slowly enough, it won't break, it will flow and bend. These rocks have been squeezed at deep levels in the crust. Here we can see how the once flat layers have folded. <laughs> Notice the water's extra blue here due to the chemical reactions between the calcium-rich marble bedrock and flowing groundwater. Back to the trailhead again. We can now take time to enjoy the Shakadang Bridge, which is lined by 100 lions, all carved by the indigenous people. Notice that each of them is different. <laughs> When Ama saw these lions, she said she didn't remember them from last time she was here, which was 60 years ago on a school trip. Sure enough, until about 20 years ago, these lions used to be on another bridge called Zimu Chao, further in the gorge. Bridges are a necessity here in the gorge. Today we're visiting Shan Yue Diao Chao, which just opened to tourists in August 2020. The bridge is still being tested for earthquake and typhoon safety, so we actually had to register ahead to visit this bridge. But hey, the tickets were free. Shan Yue Diao Chiao is the highest suspension bridge in the country and provides an excellent view of how rivers erode the fast rising land on the eastern side of Taiwan. It's like if you have a stick of butter on a plate, and if you raise the plate with a hot knife cutting down, the river is like the knife cutting down. As fast as the land can rise, the river can cut. Let me take a picture.
The mountains still grow up each year one centimeter. As the river and groundwater interact with the rising land, they carve out cracks where the rock is more easily eroded, leaving empty spaces in the rock face when the walls rise above the waterline. When they're up to some the elevation and no water in there, so the swallow build a nest in there. So why we call here is a swallow grotto. This one is a flying swallow welcome the guest. Actually, I tell you the answer. The flying swallow just fighting for food, not really welcome for <laughs> you. <laughs> How are you feeling? Yeah, they're fighting for food, not welcome. My legs feel really cold. That's okay. Rock falls and landslides are very common in Taroko National Park. The park takes all sorts of safety precautions to prevent potential injuries, such as reinforcing or netting up the rocks. But in some places, we have to take extra personal precautions. For example, here in Swallow Gorge, we have to wear helmets. Here we are at the suspension bridge. Yeah, here we are at the suspension bridge. Watch all your head. It's really getting cold, as you can tell. We finally made it to the other side of the suspension bridge. Very wobbly. Uh, but now that we're on this solid land, we actually won't be going any further because we've reached the doorstep of the Taraco people. And we don't want to trespass. All right, we'll be braving the suspension bridge once again. See you guys on the other side. Yeah. Our host tells us that although many Taraco people still own land in the national park, most people actually live outside in the nearby township, just like where we're staying in our B&B. Thanks for watching our video. We have seen so many wonderful places in the Taraco National Park. After seeing so many, do you have a favorite? If you like our video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.